Hi guys, Minnie here. Welcome back to episode 12 of Return Trajectory. When we last left off, Bill Kerman was driving over the surface of the moon, looking for the uh, actual polar biome, since we had landed on the moon polar lowlands, and he was driving, and driving, and falling, and driving some more. So, at the moment, he's on his way to the very top of this little mountain here, trying to get a better view of his surrounding areas and see if he can find a pickup spot or landing site for Jeb to come by and pick him up. So let's go to Bill on the surface of the moon as he drives up this mountain. Hello, uh, Bill Kirkman here, once again. Uh, continuing to drive on the surface of the moon. Uh, I believe right now I'm still in the polar lowlands biome. I'm trying to find the polar uh, areas, that way we can do the science and research there. Uh, the goal is, once I get there, I'll be getting some preliminary to data uh, with the rover itself. Um, the temperature, seismic, uh, gravimetric, and I'll also be doing some surface samples and uh, some EVA reports back to the KSC. But it looks like my batteries are getting a little bit low, so I'm going to see if I can take a little break on this slightly flatter area up here. And try not to flip over, there, there we are, yeah. And get those batteries recharged. Uh, the terrain around here is quite dynamic. It's, it's lots of hills, lots of valleys, little mountains, pointy cliffs. I gotta really be careful when I'm driving around. I don't want to fall over a cliff into some oblivion below. So when I, you know, I'm coming around these areas, I gotta be really careful. When I come over a ridge, you know, so it's not like really steep on the other end or something like that. So, got one coming up here. Oh, too steep! Ah! Ah! Oh, ah! You've done this before. Alright, uh, Ah! Willy! <laughs> Alright. Alright, we're good. <laughs> Yay! Not dead. The sensor conducts a detailed survey of the local gravity. Uh, the seismic accelerometer is not working for some reason. Uh, let's see, what else do we got? Oh, we've got temperature gauge, let's see. Temperature gauge says... The thermometer can't seem to make up its mind whether it's hot or cold. That doesn't make any sense. Alright, well, I think the next thing I need to do is get out and actually see what biome this is. The gravimetric said that it was the moon holds. So I'm just going to hop off my rubber here. There we are. There. And see if I can get a surface sample. And get rid of the old one, since uh, Jeb can get one. So you wonder if this would make a nice snack. No. You're amazed at how mystifying the moon looks from the moon's poles. And uh, yeah, lots of terrain, lots of hills. Not very friendly, that's for sure. It's kind of breathtaking, actually, seeing Kerbin in the distance. Seeing all the terrain. Oh, that's a nice little interesting looking spot over there. I'm just gonna use my EVA fuel. Bill, what are you doing? We've shown that you've got an EVA and, and we're showing the use of your, your EVA pack. Oh, it's fine, I'm just uh, uh, doing a little bit of maneuvering on the moon. We're gonna relocate. Um, I've found a nice little flat spot. And I'm moving up. Are you using the EVA fuel on the moon like a jetpack, maybe? Bill? Okay, yes, I'm doing it, but it's fine. I'm, I'm not halfway there. I mean, if you want me to stop now, I'd fall into the, you know, cliff down there. You don't want that to happen, do you? Just be careful, Bill. Alright? I got this. It's no big deal. It's just EVA. You know I'm good at that. Alright, coming in for landing. And here we are. Better watch your speed when you land. It's fine. I'll be fine. Well, I'm good. I'm, I landed. I'm safe. Ah, uh, let's see. Review sample. You're amazed at how mystifying the moon. Oh, good. We're still on the moon. Holes. So, I found a nice little spot for us to land. And, and it's relatively flat as well. That's good. Should be a lot easier for a, a craft to land since it's, it's not quite so inclined as all of the hills and stuff. It does actually lit up a bit. I mean, it's on a slight incline, but uh, 
it should be good. I mean, it's relatively flat as well, which is nice. But you shouldn't have to worry about hitting any spikes or any odd little edges around the, the barriers of the, you know, around the terrain. I'm about 2 kilometers from the Morsa Rover and 4.4 kilometers uh, from the moon Polar Lowlands landing site. Now back to our Morsel rover that Bill Kerman has left behind on this mountain so he could test the power of his EVA pack to locate a new landing site. Now you'll notice that the camera on the front is working and the rover is working, but the problem was is that I was actually controlling it from the docking port on the back, not the front. So all the controls were reversed. So I was confused this entire time. <laughs> So the rover is more or less intact, so we're going to send Bill Kerman to check it out. Uh, Bill, we're going to have you go investigate the Morsel rover, so I'm already on it. I'm uh, starting my EVA flight over. You're doing the jetpack thing again, you're not just going to walk, you know, because it's safe that way. Uh, no, uh, I'm going to do the EVA pack because I'm good at it. Uh, Alright, whatever. Just, uh, you know... Watch your landing and, you know, try not to land on top of it. We you, want you to give us a report on the rover's conditions when you do get closer and get rid of the land. Yeah, yeah, I'm on my uh, final approach now. You can see it looks like it's overturned. And uh, I'm just uh, making my way down to the surface now. 
and see if I can land close to it. Alright, just uh, be careful. Hey, yeah, I got it. I'm gonna take it nice and easy. So, uh, don't get any bumps or anything on the way down. Just hovering right above it. And... <gasps> what was that? Oh, nothing. Just, uh, you know, good landing. So, uh... Yeah. I can't seem to grab anything. For some reason, besides my EVA pack. Um, hang on. We'll get back to you. We're gonna see if we can formulate a plan to... Uh, get the rover turned over so you can get a better look at it. Alright, um... In the meantime, I'm gonna start pushing on it. Uh... Alright, you know what, if that's it, I'm gonna get inside and see if I can turn it over with the controls. So here we are. And... Let's see, moving the wheels. And nothing. Nothing, that's not looking. Alright, Bill, um... The control has told us that we want you to turn on your, is this right? Turn on your EVA pack and push it. Like, run into it. Are you sure? I don't think this is gonna work. Just trust us. Oh, it worked! It's ro rolling away. Catch it, catch it quick! Alright, I'm on it, I'm on it, I'm chasing it! Bill? Um? Bill? Everything's fine? Uh, just following the rover? Kind of? Alright, well, you know, just be careful. Yeah! I'm gonna be careful. Careful as I can be. Alright, something wrong? Oh no, nothing's wrong. Everything's fine. Why? You think something's wrong? I'm just, you know, following the rover. It's gotten a bit away from me. Is everything fine? Yeah, everything's fine. Completely fine. Everything's normal. Completely normal as they would be on the moon. That's right, just, you know, some thruster calculations. And, you know, um, just a point of curiosity, how durable are these suits? They're pretty durable. Why? No question, dude, no reason. Um, yeah. Uh, um, oh my gosh. Are you okay, Bill? I'm fine. Um, uh, just a question on the side. Um, yeah? Uh, how durable are these helmets? Pretty durable, why? Uh, no reason! Uh, oh. Well, it's fine, I've got it down. Uh, it, it slowed down, I'm, I'm, I'm getting closer to it. It's turned over again, unfortunately. I guess if I can uh, push it over. Oh my word, my head. I feel that in the morning. Oh no, you don't. Get back here! I'm gonna catch you. It's the last thing I do, hopefully it's not. But I'm gonna catch you. Here we go. And, 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 and I grabbed the seat from the rover. That was, no, it's, it's not supposed to happen. Just stand on here. And, there we are. Billy, we having some trouble? Think you might have needed some more training with the EVA pack? Yeah, of course I need more training with the EVA pack. Yeah, training's gonna prepare me for this. Chasing down a rover on the moon with a seat on my back. A seat on your back? I grabbed the wrong part. Oh, I've got it slowed down now. I'm standing on top of it. And I'm going to see if I can get the seat back on. If I can get control of this thing again. Alright. Alright, I'm in the rover. Um, controls are reversed. But, uh, I'm going to go ahead and reverse control of the wheels. I I've got the, uh, the seat attached again. Uh, we've got battery power, the regular thermal electric generator is still intact, so I've got one solar panel and the battery, so we still got, uh, it can still drive. So I've got everything turned around again, and I'm gonna see if I can get back up to the, uh, the landing site. Alright, Bill, good job. Yeah, so you say so. Alright then. Alright, we've got all the controls reversed, and I should be able to control it now. It's weird controlling it with the small end on the back. Aren't you worried about it being a little bit, you know, hard to control? It should be fine. It should be fine, you know, I know how to drive rovers. It's, uh, you know, whoever's controlling it, you know, when it what remote control that crashed it. You know, that person apparently can't drive a rover. But I can drive a rover. I'm good at driving rovers. You know, as long as they're well built, which, uh, I don't know. This one should be fine as long as I'm careful, don't go too fast or hit a hill. Like that. Oh, great. Yeah, jump out. 
You better not start sliding in. What happened, Bill? I fell out of the rover. Again. You mean again? Uh, well, the never mind. It's... It's, uh... Testing... My patient. And... Yeah, moving the wheels. Not helping. Mm. Alright, let me get out again. And... It's sliding. Let's see if I can push it over. Get it. Stop. Come on, get over, you stupid rover. This is like, seriously, the worst rover ever. It blows up. It tries driving on its own. It doesn't stay still. And... It's testing my patience. And... And I'm done. I am done. I'm going back. I'm low on EVA fuel. I'm over halfway out of my electricity. We can deal with that stupid rover later. But Bill, we have to get the rover. We'll get it later. I'm done. I'm going back to the landing site. I'm going to have Bill come and pick me up. I'm almost out of EVA fuel. I've got my alarms going off. I'm going to land. I'm going to get back in the Morsa Mark 2 when it arrives. I'm going to have a snack. And a little bit of dehydrated coffee. And I'm going to rest. Are you okay, Bill? No, I'm not okay. I've had a long day. Gone to the moon. My ship wasn't working. Had to move parts. Tried fixing it. That didn't work. Had to get a rescue ship. Had to sit and listen to Jeb for hours on end while the rescue ship comes in. I'm running out of fuel. Stranded on the moon until Jeb gets over here. He's four and a half kilometers away. I'm not having a good day. And, and there we go. I've fallen down again as soon as I've landed. I've had a fantastic day so far. You get Jeb on the phone. You get him over here. I need some snacks and a break. Okay, we'll get right on that, Bill. Okay, KSC to, uh, Jeb on the moon. Come in, Jeb. Jeb, we're reading engines fire. What are you doing? Uh, nothing. Nothing, really. Um, testing to make sure the engines still work, because, you know, the last one didn't work, and, you know, after landing on the moon, we want to make sure that the engines still work, right? Right. Anyway, um, I'm outside. With the engines running? No, the engines are off. Of course they're not running. I wouldn't leave the engines running while I'm outside doing science. Um, yeah, I'm I'm getting some surface samples, and I'm doing the EVA report. It's really dusty, by the way. Um, and there's some ice up here in the samples. Um, I'm gonna make sure I get these experiments back into the capsule, and double check all the, the sensor data from the, you know, over here on the moon, getting that stuff up, you know, the gravity and the temperature and the seismic scans and uh, the goo canister and the, the science equipment. It's already been deployed, so I'm not going to be able to check that. But, uh, you know, I'm going to get this information out and, and and get ready to go pick up Bill. By the, how, how is Bill? I haven't even been thinking about Bill at all. How's he been doing? Is Bill okay? He's, uh... Had a difficult day. No kidding! A difficult day! Are, are you okay? I'm fine. Absolutely fine. Nothing's... Nothing's wrong. Everything's going absolutely according to plan. And I am fine. I am going up the ladder and getting inside and getting ready to go pick up Bill. Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna retract the, the docking arm. And, you know, get that pulled up and get ready to go pick up Jeb. Firing the engines, picking up the ladders, turning off the running lights, all that fun stuff. Anyway, I've I'm, I'm, I'm got my trajectory going towards Bill. Folding up the landing gear. We're on our way. Jeb, is that you? I think I can see you. I can see the exhaust plumes firing up. I really need you over here, man. I have the worst day. Ever. Really? Worst, worst day? I mean, how bad? Uh, you know... Oh, uh, EVA, you see that mountain where your shadow is? Yeah, I see it. Uh, uh, EVA packed from there, over to here, landed, and then the, someone controlled the rover and it came down and exploded, so I had to go check it out and the all on the taps. I need a nice hot cup of coffee, a pouch of coffee, and... And I need a, a rest. I need a break. So, you know... 
faster you can get here, the better. I'm seeing a rover down there, did you? Did something happen? Yes, yeah, something happened. I'll tell you about it when you land. Alright, man. Well, you know. This is Gemini Kerman coming in. As always, you know. Aren't you coming in a bit hot? I, I got it. Hang on, hang on. I got this. You know, th this is me we're dealing with, you know. I can fly anything as long as it's got engines. 